Welcome to Earlville Library District's Mystery Crafts for Summer 2022, Week 4. Today we will be making a sunny lemonade fence decor for your home. Miranda put this together and made it lemons and lime themed. So you've got everything you need to make this craft in your kit and we'll get started right away. If you haven't yet picked up your packet for this week, stop by and grab one. Ask us for our previous week's packs too. We might have some of those left over and you can catch up on all our summer crafts. We got a lot of supplies to get through for this particular craft. In your bag you should have a, well seven, um, five gallon sized paint sticks, two gallon sized paint sticks, some yellow paint, a foam brush, a rectangle wood cutout, the vinyl phrase, uh, lemons and limes in green, some transfer tape, which is just like uh, contact paper, six green beads, six white beads, six clear beads, and three lemon shape cardstock cutouts, one lime shape cardstock cutout, two feet of jute, two hot glue sticks, one regular roll up glue stick, seven square foam stickers, some gold and green glitter, the six inch cutout for when life gives you lemons, a green cardstock rectangle at 10 inches by seven and a quarter inches, one command hook, a regular sized popsicle stick, and a hot glue gun that is not included in your packet, but the library does have hot glue guns to lend out in case you don't have one at home. First step is to paint our paint stir sticks, and Miranda says you can do just one coat on the side with the ruler numbers, or not, you can do two coats on both sides if you like, but if you'd like to save time and paint, you can just throw one coat on the number side and two coats on the underside, and go ahead and paint the small ones too. Also, note here, go ahead and plug in your hot glue gun right away so it's ready to go when you are. Just a reminder, Miranda's only demonstrating on a couple of her stir sticks, but you'll want to paint all of yours. When you're done painting, set those aside somewhere safe to dry. Next, we're gonna assemble our lemon and lime shapes. Miranda says there is a right and a wrong for this, so test out your shapes before you glue them down. Make sure the right sides are together. And you're gonna glue the lighter side to the darker side, and you'll have a sort of layered effect after you do that. Use your glue stick to accomplish this, and you'll see Miranda do all four lemons, and then she's gonna pull out the lime and repeat that process. Remember, uh, line them up before you put the glue on so that you make sure you put the glue on the correct side. Now it's time to add some glitter. So for the lime, we're gonna add green glitter. So along the top edge of your lime, you can put a little bit, a little line of stick glue, toss on some glitter, press it in, and tap off the excess. And then your lime is nice and sparkly. Miranda's gonna repeat this process for her lemons and the gold glitter that's included in your packet. Draw a little curve line on with your stick glue, add the glitter, press it in, and shake off the excess. You could definitely get creative here and glitter as much or as little as you want. And here Miranda's going to demonstrate putting a second coat of yellow paint on the blank side of her paint stir stick. And she's only doing that one side to save some paint and some time, but she said like earlier that you can do two coats everywhere if you like. Now she's gonna attach her vinyl phrase to the wood rectangle plank. So she's gonna peel that transfer tape, the clear tape, away from the white backing. And it takes a minute here to get started, but once you do, as you're laying that 
clear bit flat on the table and peeling off that white part, the words should stay behind. Then you can line it up on your project, press it down so that it sticks to the wood, and then carefully and slowly lift up the clear backing. And as Miranda's doing, you can press down your letters as you go if they start to peel up. Um, but as you work farther and farther, it should get easier. Make sure that you hold that transfer tape as close to the, the wood as you can, almost flat to the wood and peel straight back and uh, they should eventually all lay down and stick to the rectangle in place. For added embellishment, Miranda's gonna put some glue on the back of her glittery lime and place that on her lemons and lime sign. And then she's gonna grab her jute and tie it on to one of the holes in the sign in the corner and start stringing on her beads. And you can follow her pattern uh, that she does here or you can make up your own. Once all of your beads are strung on, tie the other end to the other hole at the other end of the sign and it's ready to hang. Now Miranda's got that yellow cardstock sign and she's gonna put glue all over the back of it with her glue stick and then stick it on top of her green cardstock rectangle and press it all together and set it aside to dry. With nice and dry paint stir sticks, we're going to build the fence and lay all those paint sticks, the big ones, number side up because we're going to be working on the back. And we're not going to want to build our fence any wider than the small paint sticks because that's what we're going to glue to the back to keep them together. See how Miranda's measuring and then spacing out her stir sticks so that they don't exceed the length of that little guy. Uh, this is where your glue gun is going to come in handy and she's going to put some glue about where that paint stick is gonna lay, give it one last adjustment, and then she accidentally glued the wrong side down and flipped it over last minute there. But uh, just lay that hot glue down, top it with your small paint stir stick, and that's gonna keep everything in place. Then you can flip it over and start working on the front of your fence and flip over your When Life Gives You Lemons sign and you're gonna be putting four foam adhesive squares in each of the corners on the back of that sign. Miranda says you can cut these foam squares in half so that you have enough to stick to all of your different pieces. Now that the sign is down, Miranda's gonna place one of those foam adhesive squares on the back of each lemon and line them up on the left side of the sign. Now Miranda's going to attach the command hook to the back of her fence so the sign has something to hang from. So she's going to peel off the command hook side sticker and attach it to the command hook, flip the fence over, and peel off the wall side of the sticker. And now she's placing that hook face down. So it's going to look upside down, like nothing's going to hang from it this way. She cut off the tab so you can't see it from the front. But this way, when you face the fence front and slide your string from the sign behind the fence, you can make a knot if your string is too long. Uh, you can judge that based on where you want the sign to hang on the front of your fence. But now, since that hook is facing down, you can just slip it onto your string there and your sign will hang down nicely in front on your fence there. And that is our week four Sunny Lemonade Fence by Miranda. Sorry, this picture was taken outside and wow was it bright and I've done what I could, but uh, it's a little crazy. But the sign looks great and we hope you had fun making it. And if you did, please send us a photo of your completed project. Uh, we would love to see what you worked on and know that you had fun making it. Also, like we said earlier, check with us to see if we've got this craft still available for you to take home and make, or if we have any leftover from weeks prior. 
Uh, we also have a lot of other fun YouTube videos you can check out on this channel. And we also have fun programs going on in the library. Stop in and check something out to enter one of our giveaways. Or stop in for book club at the end of the month. And check out all the fun kids crafts we're making. And don't forget to stay tuned for yet another summer craft next week in week five. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.